Hello everybody, this is Shane again. I'm doing a follow-up. Um, now, I've been working out, <coughs> as you can tell. I'm down to like 220. Got a little bit of lab I gotta work off under here, or make it muscle, and a little bit of lab around here I gotta work off, a little bit of lab here. Now, as you can tell, my right side is my stronger side. That's my stronger side. Anyway. Now, um, I'm 230, but as you can tell, I'm not, there's not much fat on me. Just a little bit here and there. Um, I'm not talking about fat people or skinny people. If I am, I'm calling you angels. I'm not judging anybody, but I do have a problem which has to do with my time in the military and a car accident I was involved with before that. So I'm trying to straighten all this matter up at the same time. But I'm doing better and um, having some heart problems, perhaps from a spider bite and high blood pressure. Um, a combination of the two. I think it was a black widow. They got a hold of me because either she was crawling in my bed and I rolled over on her or and she injected as much poison in me as she could. She was trying to either take me out or I was trying to take her out <laughs> accidentally. Um, and I think she got me twice. Either I was in her territory but she could see me as a threat. I'm a big man. And tried to take me out and bit me and put as much poison in me as she could. Um, that's why I turned purple instead of red like Posh Spice, for example. Um, she put as much venom as she could in me, more than would take down a normal insect or a normal girl. Now, a girl's small and her bite was probably relatively short. I was asleep when she bit me, so that means I slept through it. Now, when I was in the hospital, I found another electrode put on me for monitoring my heart, and I didn't put it on. I only put one on. And uh, I noticed that. And um, someone had to put it on me while I was asleep, and I slept through that. So that means I do have a hard time waking up, even with people around me making noise. That's a form of narcolepsy. I also had insomnia in that I couldn't get to sleep with all the paranoia that was going on in my mind. Paranoia that the prophecies of Nostradamus will be fulfilled by 1994, which was the time that the documentary had given it, but it turned out 9-11 was the actual day that something traumatic happened to New York. Now, those were the major cities that they thought would be attacked. Though, being an NOB, I thought NOB could be attacked or Norfolk Operations Base of the Navy. So, that's part of what was going on with me. So, anyway, I'm doing better, y'all, and I hope y'all stay tuned. I might be doing some more impersonations or figure something out. 
anyway, um, y'all take care and talk to you next time.